Hey guys, Jeff Rowe here from Ruthless TV. I'm here with one of the gentlemen from the industry, Josh Sarah. We're gonna have a bit of a chat about some of his work. How you doing, Josh? Good, buddy. How are awesome. you? Awesome. Um, you've been down here at um, Right to Passage for, for the last two days. Done yep. a couple yesterday, did you? Or one Done yesterday? one big one. Yeah, yeah, one big cracker. Yeah, a big sculpture. Black and grey's your go-to thing, mate. You're pretty happy doing it? Yeah, yeah, I gave up the colours. Yep. Yeah, I just gave them away. Fibber. Yeah, <laughs> no, um, no, I borrowed that one yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mine. Yeah, doesn't yeah. count if it's not yours. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. I'll Every now one. and then I'll bust out one, but other yep. than that, stick yep. to the black and grey. Just got back from some travelling, mate. How'd that go? Yeah, it went all right. Went yep. all right. Been shipping around for a couple of months. Yeah, nice. Went to New Zealand, Thailand, um, a few places in Australia. You're leaving us in, in Queensland and going to head over to WA, mate. Where yeah. are you working? We're going to Fremantle, Elysian. Yep. Um, it's a nice shop, run by Jeremy, so it's cool. Yeah. Mate, you know, the, the industry's getting bigger. It, it's going crazy. It is. What do you think of it, Josh? Where, where are your thoughts on it? It's pretty wild compared to like four or five years ago when I started doing conventions. Yep. Like, the amount of top quality artists are just yep. going through the roof. And they're coming up every week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Brand and new I'm like, one. All the how time. are they doing it? Yeah. You you follow Instagram like like most artists. Who's uh who's someone that you've seen over the last, you know, month or so that you've gone, oh my god. I'm loving Jackson May and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Kale, those two are great. Yeah, know. yeah. It's a pretty different side to what I do. Yeah. But just seeing some of their stuff in real life, it's just like a sticker. If there's any straightforward basic advice you can give an up and coming artist, mm. what is it? Just practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't try and bite off more than you can chew. And just more time under the yep. needle. It's just money in the bank. Mate, something I've been wanting to ask a lot of people, I, I, I'm a tattoo myself, how do you manage your time? This, this is for all the artists out there, they, they all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How do you do this? You take your time, you don't worry about time constraints. Yep. And then if you do run out of time, you just rush it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. We're kidding, kids. If you don't finish it, don't finish it. Yep. You know the, the design process. There's a lot in it. I've seen your designs. Whether you're on, whether it's Photoshop or you're drawing from scratch, it's still time consuming. How do yeah, you, how do you finish a tattoo after, you know, yeah. bombing someone for nine hours and then go home and des design another sleeve for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, that's if you like what you do, you know, you get obsessed with it. Yeah. So you don't really take much time off. Yeah. You, know, you might yep. watch My Kitchen Rules for fucking twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. But other than that. You're just working. Yeah. Even if you're just sitting there, you're going through it in your head. That's right. It is a 24/7 job. Yeah. It is. It's a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's one for the public. It's a 24/7 job. It's not just the hours you're in there. Good to have you up here, Josh. No, Thanks very good. much for taking some time for us, mate. Too Thank easy. you. Thank you. Cheers, bud.